guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to do a short drawing activity with you called Yes You Can Draw a Quail. Because yes, you can draw a quail, and today I'm going to show you how in some easy to follow steps. Now, a quail is a special type of bird, and it's special because of some of its markings. And I'm going to help you make those markings on your bird. So, all you're going to need is something to write on. Today, I'm going to be using my dry erase board. And something to write with. Today I'll be using a dry erase marker. If you're ready to get started, I'm ready to get started too. Let's get going. Now I highly recommend using a pencil or something you can erase to draw this bird because there is a little bit of erasing that you might need to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my board on its side so that I can stretch my bird out just a little bit. All right. The next thing, the first thing that we're going to put on our paper is a big circle. And this is going to be your bird's, the main part of your bird's body. And then you're going to make kind of a rainbow. This is your bird's head. And um, what I would do is I'd go ahead and erase this line that connects your body and your head. That way you have your body and head all in one piece. And on the other side, we're going to make a triangle shape. It almost looks like a bee that's getting ready to sting. And again, on this, we're going to erase this little line on the inside so that we have our head and our body and our tail all as one piece. But notice we made them as three different pieces, and they're all shapes you know. A circle, a rainbow, a triangle. All right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a wing right here in the middle of your body and it looks kind of like a a sloppy u a sloppy u and inside this sloppy u we're going to make some skinny u's so that we can show some of the feathers on this on this quail cuz quails are kind of speckly birds and they're speckled because they use those speckles to help them camouflage in uh, bushes and uh, little weeds and sticks and stems and grass. All right, then we are going to make a little jagged line that connects the tail to the wing, just like this. And then we're going to start at the tip of the tail and we're going to make another line that goes up to the wing because the front part of our quail, this belly area, is a slightly different color than the rest. So we're giving a little line so that it can mark the end of the body. And then again, on its belly, we're gonna make some feathers because this is another section of its body that's a different color. All right, now we're about to the part that makes a quail really special. What we're going to do is we're going to make a long, kind of skinny and curved triangle, almost like a necklace on the bird, like this, or like a claw, kind of. It's saying, come here, little birdie. And then you're going to do another kind of long, skinny triangle at the top that almost looks like a headband. All right, so we have a little band at the top of our bird's head. <clears throat> in between your two bands, kind of looks a little bit like a helmet or a visor, you're going to draw a circle for your eye and give your bird a pupil. And now we need a little beak. Now a beak on a quail kind of curves down and goes back up to its face and it's already connected there. And now let's make one bird foot. A, a quail has little tiny legs, so we're going to give them a little, two short little lines. One line that goes back, one line that goes forward, and then we're going to double this one back and make another line so that the end of our foot has like a V. And we're going to make it into two little feet. There we go. Now the last step that really drives home that this quail is a quail is that it has kind of a little floof on the top of its head. And it, it starts basically where your headband is and it curls out and curls back in. Now when you're 
if you decide to color your quail, if you want to color it kind of realistically, the, let's see, this part of your quail, all of its face, including its beak and its little plume, are all black. The little stripes are both white. So it really does look like a little mask. And then the the colors of the body are are a little bit different. They're they start out kind of gray and then it's a little bit brown and a little bit gray and a little bit light brown. But really, you can color your quail any way you want. Be inventive, be imaginative. Maybe you want to make a purple quail. It really is up to you. In nature, quails are usually brown so they can camouflage. But in your book, they can be any color you want because they can go on adventures. Ladies and gentlemen, here you go, have it, a nice little quail. And yes, you can draw a quail. And yes, you can experiment with your colors and your sizes and your shapes. It's a lot of fun. I'm just showing you the basic idea. If you enjoyed drawing a quail with me, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the page, right over here somewhere. And don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified when there's new content to my channel. I hope to, you had a really good time. I know I did, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.